Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make black forest trifles and this is what it looks like. On the bottom, we're going to use actually chocolate brownies. We're going to soak that with the cherry syrup, then we're going to cover that with some Morallo cherries, finish it off with some whipped cream and some chocolate curls. So, the first thing you will need to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 165 degrees Celsius. And then you will need, because we're going to make the brownies first, you will need an 8 inch square, which is 20 centimeter baking pan. And then you can either butter your pan, or I'm just going to use one of these non-stick sprays. And then I'm going to line the bottom of the pan with just a little piece of parchment paper. Make it much easier to get them out. So um, the first thing you need to do is have a saucepan of simmering water. And you will need a heat proof bowl. I like stainless steel for this. First thing, four, four ounces, 120 grams of unsweetened chocolate. It's also known as baking chocolate or bitter chocolate. And this kind of chocolate does not have any sugar added. It's not a chocolate you would just take a piece and eat it. Too bitter. And then just coarsely chop it. And then you will need a half a cup, 113 grams of butter. You can use salted or unsalted here. And I've just cut it into, you know, smaller cubes so they melt faster. And then we're going to put that over the saucepan of simmering water. We're just going to let it melt. Our chocolate and our butter have melted, so take it off the heat. There, stir. Now at this point, their chocolate is going to be quite warm. If it's like hot, hot, then let it sit for a few minutes. But mine's just kind of warm because I took it off the heat as soon as everything was melted. So I'm going to add right away one cup, which is 200 grams of granulated white sugar. Now while that might sound like a lot of sugar, because we're using an unsweetened chocolate, we do need that amount of sugar. Sweeten it up. And I'm just going to use a wire whisk and whisk that in along with one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. Now that it's just for flavoring, so you could leave the vanilla extract out. Let's give that a really... So it starts to melt into that warm chocolate. So now what we're going to do is add two large eggs. Have your eggs at room temperature. And you want to whisk. I'm going to add one at a time. You want to keep whisking. We don't want our eggs to cook. <laughs> so. And as you can see, it's quite grainy at this point. Don't worry, just keep whisking and you will see what happens here. Your arm gets a bit of a workout, which is a good thing. So as you can see, it's starting to, it's getting harder and harder to, to whisk and it's starting to get shiny and nice and smooth. So that's what you want. So at about the point where it's really hard to whisk and your arm is it feels like it's going to break off, <laughs> that's probably about it. So now what we're going to do is add three quarters of a cup, which is 95 grams of all-purpose flour. You may know that as plain flour. And I'm going to add just a quarter of a teaspoon, one gram of, I'm using kosher salt. Now, if you use salted butter, I, I would just not use the salt. And I'm just going to use a spatula and stir it all in. Brownies are so easy to make and they're so good. Now, you don't have to use this particular brownie recipe for your Black Forest trifles. If you have a favorite, uh, brownie recipe, then just use that. This happens to be my favorite one. Okay, we'll make sure all that flour is mixed in. Okay, looks good, and we're done. Let's pour it into our pan. And 
then you could, I'm just using an offset spatula. You could just use the back of a spoon. Oops. that over the way. And just smooth it out. So for these, I find uh, bake them, everyone's oven is a little different, but around 25 minutes. So you might want to check them. I usually check them at a, maybe the 22 mark just to make sure. You don't want to overbake brownies because they, they tend to be a little dry. So what you want is it, they will be set and a toothpick inserted into the center, you will have some crumbs, some moist crumbs clinging to the toothpick. You don't want it to come out clean. Okay, that looks good. You should just give it a shake to even it out. So, about 25 minutes. Okay. So, our chocolate brownies are done. I just feel they're, it's, you know, on firm to the touch and I put my toothpick in the center. There is some moist crumbs and you will see that they're just starting to pull away from the sides of the pan. So I'm gonna put them on a wire rack, let them cool completely before we make our trifles. Now, if you wanted to, you could make your chocolate brownies a day or two before you wanna make your trifles. You don't have to do it all in the same day. But the next thing we need to do is our cherries. We are using Morallo cherries. You will need one 24 ounce, which is 680 grams. You can, I have a bottle, a can, container, and we need to drain our cherries. Now, if you couldn't find the Morallo, you could use a sour cherry. I know like if you live in the States, they can come in cans. You want them in the light syrup though. So you want to drain them. Let's put that there. And you will have maybe, you know, around a cup, maybe a little more of syrup, about 240 milliliters. What we're going to do is we're going to put our syrup in a saucepan. We're going to reduce it a little. So that, that way it will concentrate the flavor, that wonderful cherry flavor. I would taste your syrup. Mine isn't too very sweet, so I'm going to add, you know, usually two to three tablespoons, say 25 to 40 grams of granulated white sugar, but taste, like I said, taste your syrup and then, you know, add sugar accordingly. So now, let's plug my machine in here. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this up to a simmer, and then I'm gonna just let it simmer for, you know, five, maybe 10 minutes, I want to reduce this a little to maybe down to three quarters of a cup, 180 milliliters. Of course, the more you reduce it, the thicker it will be and the more concentrated the flavor. So, okay, so our syrup has reduced to about three quarters of a cup, 180 milliliters. So take it off the heat. And so I'm going to add two tablespoons of like a cherry brandy. Can you leave that out? Yes. If you don't want the alcohol, you can leave it out. It's very nice, just the uh, sweetened cherry syrup. Or you could add like a little a drop or two of pure uh, almond extract. That would be nice. So what I'm going to do is take my drained cherries, put them in a bowl, and I'm going to pour over the syrup. And I'm going to have to let this really cool down. Again, you could do like the brownies you could do ahead of time. You could do your cherries like the day before, just cover it and then put them in the fridge. Actually, that'd be really good because it'd get the flavor, you know, the concentrated flavor of the cherry syrup plus that brandy. So, so what I'm going to do is just let that cool right down and when we come back, we will finish off our trifles. There are three main components for this Black Forest trifle. We've done the brownies, we've done the cherries, so now what's left is the whipped cream. You can whip your cream in an electric stand mixer with the whisk attachment. You could use a hand mixer, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it by hand today. So this recipe makes about eight trifles. So 
if there's only one of you, two of you, <laughs> you don't have to make the whole batch. You can adjust the recipe down or up, whichever way you want. So one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, that's 360 milliliters. Heavy cream means about a 35 to 40% butterfat content, which means when I beat it, it will hold like stiff peaks. You want your cream to be cold. I'm going to sweeten it with about one and a half tablespoons, 20 grams to 25 grams of granulated white sugar. Really, this is sweetened to your particular taste. You could add more, you could add less. And then I like to add just a little, like maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, one gram of pure vanilla extract, which means really we are making Chantilly cream. Again, you could leave out the vanilla if you don't want that flavor. So now I'm just gonna whip it to not quite stiff peaks. So, my arm is sore, <laughs> but we've whipped our cream. So that's kind of what I wanted. So now, that aside, you will need, I'm just going to do two today. So, you know, whatever type of glass, you could use a bowl. I kind of like the clear uh, glass because then you can see the layers. And then you will need to take a brownie. You know, whatever size you want, big, small. And then what I like to do is cut it into, you know, little pieces. And I think one brownie per person. I mean, I'm only going to make this like one layer. You could make it two layer and use two brownies if you're really hungry. So then we have our cherries in their juice. So what I like to do is just take a little of that juice, pour it over top, maybe a tablespoon or so. Again, it depends how much, how big your brownie is. So, and I like the, how the syrup like soaks into the brownie. And then just take some cherries over top. Again, you can decide. What I like is there's not really a set recipe for this. You know, you only want a few cherries. You want lots of cherries. That's up to you. So there we have that. Clean that up a little. And then we have our cream. Now, I'm just going to spoon it in. You could uh, put it in a piping bag if you want to be really neat. And... Now, I like lots of cream. I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> One of my favorite things. So there, just... Now, you don't want to eat these right away because what you want is that syrup to kind of, you know, um, soak into the brownies. So typically... Typically what I do is I make them the night before and then let them sit overnight. But I would say at least like four, six hours, you want at least that amount of time. So now if you want to decorate, you could decorate with sprinkles. You know, that's always good. Chocolate jimmies or grated chocolate, or I have some curls here. And I can do that. I think lots of chocolate is needed. And, or if you had some fresh cherries, you could put one on the top. They are not in season right now where I live, so I'm not going to use those. So there you have black forest trifles. Like I said, put them in the fridge, let them sit a while, and then they are ready to go. I think those are so pretty. So I have one from, that I made yesterday. 
you can see I made this in a little larger glass, but whatever you have at home. Sure, I have lots of cream there, but I want to make sure I get everything. You know, typically when you make a trifle, you use a cake. So, you know, if you're making a black forest, you would typically use a chocolate cake. I don't know. The idea of a chocolate brownie, and it really is good because it's, it's a little more uh, substantial in texture. It really absorbs that, that cherry syrup, which is really good, and then the cherries, and then of course the whipped cream. Really good. So try these. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.